All right, we've already done an example about Coulomb's law of electrostatics uh, in the previous video, but there's one more example that I know for a fact that a lot of, I mean, it comes a lot in exams, especially during the uh, the standard 12 boards. It's uh, it, it, they keep saying, okay, so you have this, you have that, and what happens if the charge is doubled or the distance is uh, halved or doubled or whatever so we're gonna do one of those types so the reason being is the method once you get the method of doing it you can do any of them because they're really 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 easy so we're just gonna do one of those type of questions all right so uh, the questions are always kept uh, well they're kept basic they say all right you have two charges you have Q1 and you have Q2. They'll start off by saying that. You have two charges, Q1, Q2. Then they'll say the distance between them is R. Alright, so we have charge 1, charge 2, and we have distance R. Alright, now the question is, what would happen if one of the force is doubled? So, let's see. We're doing the first type. We say that Q1 is doubled. Alright, let's just say is times 2. Q1 is doubled, all right? So Q1 is doubled. What do you think would happen? What would happen to the force if Q1 is doubled? <laughs> you just say F is equal to K, Q1, Q2 by R squared. So if Q1 was to be doubled, the new force, which is F dash, I'm denoting it like this because, uh, well, you know, we like to look fancy. So we F dash would now become 2 times k q1 q2 by r squared why because q1 became q1 times 2 so the new force is two times the old force see how easy it is so that's one type uh, type of question they can do or uh, ask you or else you can do they can also say what would happen if the distance is half we are saying that the distance is half means times half. What would happen? Well, the same thing. We just apply Coulomb's law, Q1, Q2 by R squared. This is the law. The new force is going to be K, Q1, Q2 by half R squared. Because R is becoming half R, right? What, what would happen? Half times squared is one fourth, right? So you have kq1, q2 by one fourth r squared. Well, what happened is this four would come up. So you can see from here already the force is going, the new force is going to be four times the previous force. So you see, the method is fairly simple. It just looks complicated. You just have to see what happens to the new term, in this case. Q became doubled, in this case R became half, and you get the answer.